Welcome to my podcast. Uh, this is my podcast. It's called the Speakeasy Comedy Podcast. Hello, and welcome to the uh, Speakeasy Podcast. This is uh, speaking the Speakeasy Podcast number five. This is our fifth installment, and today I am so blessed to have the lovely Melody Stang and Kayla Williams from The Dirty Show. Welcome, you guys. Hey. Hello. So I just want to thank you guys so much for taking a chance and, and uh, doing this with me today. Thanks for taking a chance on us. Yeah. yeah. Is that, is, is that a, adrenaline? It's hard to find. It's good. You know, it's good. A, re- a reason to put real pants on. Yeah. It's hard to find. Yeah. Tell me, what is The Dirty Show? Basically just Kayla and I being the most ridiculous versions of ourselves, I think. Right. Uh, we are music. I like to think that we're funny. Mm-hmm. Uh, we like to do ridiculous things, dance movements, uh, costuming if possible. We kind of become one, you know, <laughs> it's hard to tell us apart. And that's how we like to do our, our intro on stage is that we're identical twins slash lovers. Our chemistry is often confusing to people. Mm-hmm. They wonder how we can be so in sync with each other. Certainly they must be together and we're like, no, we're obviously sisters. Clearly we're related and clearly we're both lesbians and everything in between. Like Tegan and Sarah. Yeah, basically. We're basically the funny Tegan and Sarah. I remember when I was in high school and Tegan and Sarah became like famous and everyone was like, are they lesbian sisters? But are they les like they're lesbian sisters, but are they lesbians together? I was like, so incest? I don't think so, guys. (laughs) I don't think there would be as renowned as world renowned uh how did you guys meet actually that's something that i i talked to you earlier about it but i I, i'm interested to know what your side of the story is kayla yeah met in school grade three i think it was melody joined the old school and uh um yeah so we go way back (laughs) and but we didn't like each other for a very long time took until high school and then we okay. shared a math class and we both sang in harmony to an oldie song. And that was very odd for 16 year olds, I guess, to share that interest and bam, friendship was born. And yeah, right from there, right from the get go, we started writing weird songs together and sharing our very strange sense of humor. So, so yeah. this is their first dirty show experience. Oh, 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 we do have oh, some oh, 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 We've got to break some hymens tonight, Melody. Are you prepared? I always come prepared. (laughs) This is one of our oldest, maybe our first, one of the first dirty shows. It might be, actually. And we had to do a little bit of a revamp on it because originally it started out a bit too PG. Uh, It was was a bit wholesome. It was. It was very wholesome. We could have played it at church if we wanted to. And now Now we've ripped it a new one. We've double R'd it. So welcome, welcome, welcome newies. We're gonna Dewey's? break it in. New oh, Dewey. <laughs> welcome, Dewey Newie. Hello. Don't be Dewey when you leave. Ooh. <laughs> I don't mean to hold your hand. Fuck no. Sorry, that was aggressive. That was aggressive. No, I don't need a wedding band. Lip to lip 
songs a little bit everywhere i'd say personal experience other friends telling us their experiences things that we don't actually know anything about and just thought it'd be fun example like art porn we neither of us i don't think it's in our wheelhouse but it is a thing that was brought to our attention we thought it was curious we investigated did our research and then said hey let's write about that someone's into it someone yeah. will relate I would say penis love is one of the most sexual because it was so personal and it was like heartfelt a little bit. Like it was, it was so slow and it was so Yeah, and then people were like, ugh. Like it kind of didn't get funny laughs. It was just like, they are really into this penis they're talking about. It was just very like detailed and it, it was like a love song, Ode to Penis. So I don't know, that's up there. Maybe Pussy Pump just because it was so graphic and it's discussion of it it said pussy probably 10 hundred times within two minutes True. i mean vulgarity i think cock detox <laughs> oh my yeah like, that what that has an abrasive it's like the roughest scrubber pad to say cock detox over and over i'm wondering too like what do you have to drink or eat or consume to detoxify to detoxify your cock to decoxify. No, so that one was Kayla detoxifying from cock. Oh. Myself from the cock. So you drink wine and you stay by yourself and do your own business. Yeah, I love you that kind of detox. Yeah, I love so that. that's cock detox. Well, uh, I would say if we're going to go into offensive town, I would say we we had and have an abortion song, which we don't often play anymore. Or I think we have two. Oh no! Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. One, yeah. and then there's another one which was about circumcision that didn't fly mm -hmm. either, uh, and the men didn't love it. Shockingly, it was called "Circumcision is Sexy," so it was sort of a recommendation after we visited Australia. And I personally found out that many and most men there don't have a circumcision, which is fine. It is fine, but at the yeah. time, I had some bad experiences. I was bitter. Yeah. So and, is the foreskin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Don't remind me. And so, you know, just we've all been there. Yeah. Just like I just thought after being in Canada my whole life, I just assumed, I guess, but you go somewhere else and then it's a whole different dick culture that you different find dicks. out. Yeah. Different dicks for different chicks, am I right? Yeah. Right. I like that saying. Uh, yeah. Good one though. Have you ever been in love, Kayla? Multiple times. Yeah. Um, have you ever written a song about when you're in love? Have, you, have either of you written a song about That's being in love? That's what songs are is either really good love or the worst love. That's yeah, what songs I was just are. Telling, I was just telling Melody, I've been in this phase where I'm not in love, but I'm not heartbroken. I'm perfectly fine. What the hell do I write about? So I've been writing just, you know, absolutely kind of meaningless lyrics, just fun, upbeat songs now, which is very different from the extreme heartbreak and heartfelt songs that I'm used to writing. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's boring being happy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, just less, I mean, no, but like it's, you don't have as much drama to write about. Like when you're feeling no. something so deep, you're just like, uh. And it flows. I have emotions. Yeah. yeah. I've only recently like actually figured out how to start writing songs of, like about being happy. They're still a little bit like, corny i don't know it's so hard to pull them off when you have a heartbreak song i feel like it's so much easier to be 
relatable and to be like vulnerable in that way because I don't know. I don't know if it's almost like a little, just a little bit of a pity party that people can at least like understand where you're coming from. You get something too happy going on and it's just so, ugh, eye roll. Yeah. Because you know. I'm happy, clap your hands if you feel. And yeah. then everyone does a song exactly like that, Justin Timberlake. But I mean, Kayla, like your One More Dose song, like that's a, that's a feeler. One More yeah. Dose. That was, yeah. that was a dark depression. And, you know, I can look at it fondly now, but at the time that was a challenging, I cried a lot while writing that and recording it. So and but I mean, yeah, people definitely vibe it like wait, because everyone can relate to it. Typically, I'd say you you can relate to heartbreak, even if you're a kid, like even kids get heartbroken. You know what I mean? Everybody, everybody relates to that. And everybody relates to being happy. But it's something about sad songs that when you feel it and you hear it, it's like, oh, it just hits you right in the soul. And it's just a little bit more. It kind of sits with you longer, maybe than like a happy song. Sometimes music is hard to listen to. You know, if you're feeling so sad and so shitty, like I know the song is that I'm like, oh, if I listen to that, like I'm going to be fucking like useless. I will not be able to even go on with the day. Right. It's like you play roulette with the radio and see what they throw at you. But it's like when you're if, in a mood, if you take the wrong turn on that one, whew, mm -hmm. that's a fucking grenade comes on by Bruno Mars. And you're like. <laughs> Okay, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have considered that one. Uh, I mean, everybody I, has I, a different... I yeah. see where you're coming from. Like, you know, Stan Rogers came on today, and I'm like, oh, well, the year was 1770. And I was just I like, woo! I really <laughs> felt the, like, yeah. pirate, like, the river Saskatchewan. Yeah. And, and yeah, you weren't crying. Made. You weren't sent into fits of emotion. <laughs> yeah, I was just, yeah, I was taken aback. Yeah, music being hard to listen to. Sometimes there, you know, especially if you were in a relationship or if you broke up with someone and then you hear that song on the radio. You know, I used to have a girlfriend who would shut the radio off if like Snow Patrol came on. I was <laughs> just like, you know, if I lay here, you know, like this sort of like, oh, oh I've actually been on a show with you guys before. Mm -hmm. um, do you remember at Mill Street? I think this was last year um it just at the beginning of COVID, i think it was downstairs yeah in the main room yeah and austin bandicamp was yep. producing yeah and what was it for it was it was an international it was, women's day it was a pr pride was it, or oh was it was it no yeah, it was a pride. drag queen yeah it was pride yeah. yeah yeah that was a great show you guys that was really fun that was, was so fun that one i was accidentally fun. entered the crowd um and went at somebody like i normally would forgetting it was covid yeah and there's obviously rules about the distance that i wiped from my memory once i got on stage yeah yeah she went out and gave a man a motorboat oh my gosh and how did he take that was he well he was all about it and then it wasn't until later that i was like wow that was not what you're supposed to do no one got me in trouble but Let's, yeah. look at us living our best lives yeah you guys are still fully uh fully healthy that man uh did covid titties didn't sue the, the, the yeah. business no. all fine. That no. we, uh, i'm pretty i'm pretty sad that um that mill street is closed now though yeah i, I will say that was a, a great room and it was an awesome brewery i had a chance to make a beer there once before hmm. when i was back when i was brewing back in 2019 and it it, it was like everyone who worked there and um austin running the show every, like every time i went there i always had a good time and it had that sort of home feel yeah i can't do it man they're just they're all looks no effort they just lay there like a starfish <laughs> expect you to do all the work sound familiar <laughs> vanilla describes my skin color my favorite ice cream and my sexual preferences. <laughs> <laughs> and I was pumped. I was like, I'm gonna be bouncing like a motherfucker. <laughs> and then on my first day, they're like, Yeah, you're not allowed to bounce. <laughs> I was like, It's prison, then. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I'm sorry to see that show go, and I'm sorry to see Mill Street go. Same. Um, but you know, times are changing, you guys, and and I think, although it's hard to say goodbye to some things, it's um. 
<clears throat> it's okay because we're gonna we can invite some new awesome awesome stuff into our lives um yeah where do you guys see what do you see in the future for the dirty show uh let's start with you kayla i don't think about the future now i live day by day <laughs> restriction <laughs> by restriction mm -hmm. you know one five person event at a time we'll see what happens i'm hopeful that we can have events. That's all I'm thinking about right now. I'm not thinking too far down the line. It's more like, when can we have live events again? When can we have an industry again mm -hmm. and, uh, in person to some degree? You know, maybe there'll be some outdoor shows again this summer. We'll see. And when things can return, I'm excited to do some shows. That's really it. I guess what I'll do now is I, I'd like to move into um, a segment that I call Tara's Tinder. Are we going like just fresh? This we're, is we're, just... Go, we're going live. <laughs> Tinder with Tara. Tara's Tinder. T Tara's Tinder with Tara. Let's find her a match. Let's find her a match. Yeah. Let's go to so, Tinder. Uh, are we going to message anyone? Well, if we if I match, if I match with someone, then absolutely. Okay, he looks like he, he's got a muscly arm. He, he is... He's an attractive man. Okay. <laughs> Shit, I, I no. think. Yeah, Melody. Would you say this guy's attractive? I think so. She thinks so. Okay. I always think that I know what Kayla's looking for, and then it turns out it's something completely different. Yeah. All right, Kayla. Shirts off. Photo from far away. Okay. Uh, yeah. Can't tell. He looks like a fairy woodsman. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. Kind of weird hair, but okay. Oh yeah, he's cute there. Mm-hmm. Pass him give, my her the give her the muscle picture. Okay. That was that was Let's my see favorite. Muscle picture. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. 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 I mean, I would. Okay. He could be douchey, but I'd do, I'd swipe right. Uh, yeah. So, what do you what do you think, Mel? I'll swipe right. See what happens. You want to swipe right on this guy? I don't know what a broker does, but I mean, he breaks. He's a little boring, but he's cute, so I'd yeah. swipe right. I'm concerned, Kayla, if he's a broker, is he going to break my heart? Nah. If he was smart, he would have put that in his description. So that says he's not personality. He's not clever. No, okay, no, so he's no not that clever. He might just be like kind of like dumb and cute. Maybe one and done. Let's do it. Swipe right. Okay, yep. here we go. Yep. Oh, now it's asking me if I want to upgrade to a super like. To a super broker. <sighs> What wow. do you think, guys? Upgrade I to mean, a super broker for, for sure. For this specific reason, I would do it just out of pure curiosity and because it's not my Tinder. But I would okay. never super like anybody. Why is that? It's uh, You look really well. desperate. Okay, well, then, then are you sure that this is what you want from me, you guys? I don't know if you know this, but if I super like him now, I can't do another super like for another 24 hours. Unless I, I do know. <laughs> I have no idea. I've never actually been on Tinder. Do you think I should still do it knowing that? I mean, this is the first guy we've looked at. Mm -hmm. What if the next guy is a super like? I should save it. <laughs> Kayla, we're going to save, save it. it. Jeannie. Oh my God. What is going on in this picture, Melody? Well, she has hair. Uh, ladies are not in my demographic, so I'm not sure why. Oh, you don't have your Tinder set to women. No, I have it just set to men right now, ages 26 to 45. That's <laughs> Wide so, swath you're cutting. <laughs> let's just go into the information. Jeannie is 29. She was recently active. Maybe she's trans. All of the boys and all of the girls are begging to, if you seek Amy. Oh, girl, she's queer as fuck. I like this girl. Right. No need to smooth talk me. I'm literally here for the thing you're pretending you're not here for. CD, smiley face. What's CD, guys? I don't know any, almost oh, anything trucks. said. <laughs> for sure. And then she finishes off with saying, escape the system. Right. Yeah, that's okay. mysterious as fuck. She's got one other picture. So mysterious. That is mysterious. Okay. Very mysterious. I'm interested. Very mysterious. I'm interested. So you don't have your Tinder set to women, yet Jeannie came up. Because perhaps Jeannie identifies as male, but, or like, identifies as male, but presents as female. Right. I'm kind of curious, uh, even to just be friends with Jeannie. So I'm going to swipe right because I, I like her. I wouldn't style. not. Yeah. <gasps> it's a match. Oh my gosh, you guys, it could be love. What should I say? What is CD? Does that oh. stand for cock detox? What? 
<laughs> does CD stand for? Is it compact disc or um, cock detox? Is it <laughs> compact disc or cock detox? Maybe it's compact dick. I really I hope that we get a response from her during this show. Okay, Jay, um, I like that you're wearing a backpack with no shirt on. Wait, do I like that? I don't know if we'd like that. I mean, I don't. <laughs> like it either. Maybe it's maybe it's not a backpack. Maybe it's one of those like posture, you know, there's those like posture supporter things. Oh, yeah. Like that's how he gets such an erect pose yeah. for his Tinder shots. But if he needs assistance with all of his erections, then... <laughs> He's just got a little splint, you know? Just like, yeah. I don't want you to have to put on a fucking Chinese paper trap or whatever every time yeah, the, you have sex. The, the finger trap. Yeah. Um, speaking of Chinese, uh, the only reason I said that is because I there is a guy here from China. My name is uh, Lu Ming. My spoken English is very poor. If you don't like chatting and making friends with words, please don't click on me. I'm here for the simple purpose of making new friends, building long-term relationships, and finding people with common interests. My That's not what Tinder's for. Under the little that I know of it. Okay. Le Leo Ming, I'm going to tell you right now, Tinder is a superficial app where people can hook up. That is the rule. The exception to the rule is that sometimes you can find love on here, but it is a rule for a reason. So, um, Cody... Initially, he's got very reflective sunglasses on. Um, he's looking for a girl that likes to garden. I love to garden. Is he looking for me, do you think? Is that a call out to me personally? Yeah. So so here's another thing too. Kayla and Melody, if I find a guy on here that either of you want to start dating or yeah. like rub his dick on, over his khaki pants, sure. uh, I will swipe right on him just for you. Wow. I would do you're, that. You're a, you're a great friend. I know. I know. So are you. Crop field. He's a cedar. Or <laughs> cedar. cedar. Hardly know her. <laughs> <laughs> he is a tinder, though. It's okay. He's got a really cute pup. Really cute pup, Maru. No, dogs are off. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't know if this is really Melody's type, Kayla. You know, well, he's doing things. He's out living. I don't approve of him for email. He's tired of getting so many dick pics. And frankly, so am I. Yeah. So... I feel like I get more dick pics and have to see more penises than most straight women. But I'm really just yeah. wondering too, like, what's the context of this? Why are you? Are you a? Are you in a medical click, profession? It's always clickbait. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, oh. like my friend Becky will just send me some, and it looks like it's going to be about some oh. like amazing like concert or musician thing, and then you click it, and it's a big fucking black dick. Yeah. Every time. Yeah. She gets me. She gets me often. Yep. Well, I don't know if this guy has a, the I type don't, of dick I, that you're looking for. So uh, we're just going to... The kind of dick I'm looking for is a vagina. Yeah, so, so swipe left. You've got a secret admirer. Can you guess which card is theirs? Is this like the game edition it's, of Tinder? Yeah, so they put little games on here so that you'll keep playing. <laughs> okay, so Maybe. we're going to do this. We're going to pick this, and then we're going to move on to the next segment, okay? All right. You think bottom right, Kayla? Are you good with that, Mel? All right. Let's do it. Give her. Kyle. You won Kyle. <laughs> and Kyle's a cowboy. Oh, oh yeah. God. There you go. Well, he heard right that Sam isn't canceled, and he's happy about it. He is definitely going to take a ride down that old back road. He loves to curl. He loves being by a barn door. Love barn Tell doors. you what, you can't wear curling. Wranglers. <laughs> like Jeep? No, like the tight the tight man pants. Oh, okay. Yeah. You can't get a good lunge in on those. No. They're they're not, not very elastic. They or... don't have any any give. They don't have any give, but they have tons of room in the ass if they're assless chaps. Kyle, 43 years old, almost 200 kilometers away. Nothing in his profile. Well, super like I him. I'm gonna <laughs> fucking super like you. Yay! It's a match. Yeah, of course it is. He admired the shit out of you. You super liked him. This could be a big deal. I'm looking for a curling partner. Do you have a set of spare chaps? Question mark. It's sent, you guys. Wow. See what happens. All right. Wow. This could be it. 
So that's uh, that's it for Tara's Tinder. Thank you guys so much for joining us for that segment. That was fun, you guys. That, that was great. I really enjoyed uh, it. A couple matches, yeah. Um, Kayla, you're not a lesbian. I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, jury's out. <laughs> I hear, Anything's possible after a year of rehymination. I hear that. Yeah, I hear you on that. Um, I'd love to see it. Yeah. I'd love to the see hymen. it. What? The hymen. No. I mean... Got your speculative flashlight on you. We could make it happen, Mal. I think I do still have the golden speculum in my tickle trunk somewhere. Um, but no, I'd, I'd love to see the day that you come out as like, maybe maybe I'm gay. I'd also love to see the day. I mean, it'd be it's a consideration, you know, some days it would be easier. In Maybe. I don't know. Then again, I've seen it all. I've seen it all. I don't think either side is is easy. You get two women together and it's hormones and it's sinking periods and it's raging emotions. There's mm -hmm. there's equal battles on both sides. Plus, I don't really want to eat puss. That's just me. That's just me. Have you tried it? Have you tried it? I haven't. Yeah, don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't rule it out. But I hear you on that. Uh, and I know that's a pretty personal question to ask you. Um, so I love talking about myself. So I'll just go ahead and just tell you, I, yeah, I dated a girl. I went down on her. I was so scared, you know, but, uh, there's nothing half a bottle of wine can't help you with. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we dated for five months and it was the best relationship that I had been in so far. And then after I stopped dating her, the men that I dated after that were like leagues better like so much more like better people um because women care about like it, the nuances you know like your civil rights uh <laughs> like they treat you like a, a human <laughs> i mean um, yeah. we're at some generalizations but i'd go with it i just i know i'm generalizing it but there's there was nothing uh that made me up my standards more with the men I dated than dating a woman. Oh, for here, sure. here. I would. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And, and Melody, I guess I'll, I'll turn the camera over to you. Um, have you ever dated a man? Are you a lesbian? What's the goss? The goss is definitely uh, certified. I have the sash and badges uh, to prove absolute lesbian status. Love it. The gold uh, standard. Yeah. What's well, good, man. It's uh, such an honor to be in your presence. You're so beautiful. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, tried dating a dude. Didn't work. Mm -hmm. uh, gave it an honest go. Kayla can... <laughs> what dating. is that strong phrase? Dating oh. is a strong word. That was, a, that, was, that was the best I could do. What happened? She rubbed a man on the outside of his blue jeans. Yeah. They were khakis. <laughs> So okay. I don't remember texture. Yeah, very, very different texture. <laughs> it matters. Uh, not uh, not a great hand job. Yeah, I, I like this is just my own like self critique, but yeah. I I think it could have been better for him. You're giving yourself a hard time. You're saying it's probably the worst hand job he's ever had. I guarantee you, it was still the best day of his life. So Kayla and Melody have sent me some really awesome, a couple of really awesome songs. Uh, where was that? If we were to introduce those clips and say they were to pop up now, uh, where did where was the venue and when was it? March 8th, 2020. It was like one of the last gigs we got in under the pandemic. It was, looking back, the sweetest moment. Um, we were in a packed oh. little bar. It was in Red Deer. It was a very small, like, it's a kind of like a house concert vibe, like only a small group can attend and it's super personal and intimate. It was so fun. Yeah, it was a, it's called LV's uh, well, Cafe. Uh, it doesn't exist anymore because COVID. Mm -hmm. um, oh, but sad. it was, yeah, this like sweet little coffee shop, lovely owner um, did a, yeah, a monthly like feature and basically stayed open longer than the coffee shop hours to have this like house concert vibe show. Just moved your hand and barely touched my back. Yeah, touch it like that. 
Messing up for you. <laughs> and you don't even know, but it feels like you fucked me in the sand. I get just from my finger on the back. <laughs> 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 it doesn't take much, just a little glance from you. And I'm panting all night long, baby. Yeah, it was so, like, people were, like, it was actually hard to have a microphone on a boom stand. Like, it was hard to actually have enough room for us to just set up and, like, have movement room because people were, like, so close to us. Mm. But that was a great energy. That's The last of its kind. Yeah, we breathed all over everyone and it was, like, totally fine. Oh, the breath. (sighs) We were so breathy, too. I mean, it was so breathy. You could see it was, like the scene in Titanic, you know, on the yeah. window, it was, a, it was the storefront behind us. Yeah. And so it got like so steamy and foggy in there. We uh, did that in the show. We ran our hand down the window and left a handprint, drew a dick. It was like dripping. <laughs> Leo, Jack. We actually yeah. said that in it. I was just watching all this footage. Yeah, we did yeah, one yeah. of those. And then there was people like walking past the whole time. So then a couple of times we were like doing weird things mid show and would catch them off guard. It was great fun. Yeah. I mean, I, I would love to be just a passerby for, for that one because I mean, the lights are on, we're standing in the window. It's complete like window at the front, but our backs are to it. So you're, People and that's one of the like busiest driving streets. It's Ross Street in Red Deer, and it's like one of the busiest one ways. So imagine how many people drove past and like saw us air humping, saw whatever costume we were wearing, yeah. saw the dick that we drew on the window, and wonder lots what of gyration. Yeah, just a lot of gyrating for mm. sure. Like yeah, you guys so much. Have really good dance moves in your videos. I'm so excited. Define good. <laughs> like very <laughs> synchronicity is on point. Uh, harmonizing melodies are gorgeous. Melody, that's my favorite. And 
yeah, props. Just just a really beautiful stage presence. Oh, really like you. it's it's hypnotic, really. <laughs> I couldn't take my eyes away. So I'm sure you you really uh yeah, you you made a lasting impression on those passer buyers, I, I bet. Oh my uh, the hand is, so Tara and I were talking about this the other day. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is how I do an introduction at uh, music festivals usually because all the pretty girls have cute little festival tales. Uh, and I prefer to have <laughs> this, this little number. Yes. Uh, yeah. Dipping into the outhouse occasionally. Because the girls at the festivals, yeah. they'll be wearing foxtails. Yeah. All this cutie, cutesy wootsy shit. This is So badass. this is a foxtail. Uh, Kayla, I don't know if you can see this, but I've given it a 2.0. Uh, it's, it's it's my my own personal handyman special. Oh wow! Uh, yeah, it looks like some reupholstery. Yeah. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> uh, and the zip tie for reinforcement. Uh, there you go. That's yeah. what an, any handy lesbian would do. Uh, looks tell like me, a tell me, tell me, you're gonna scare Lauren no, with this. Like, I am gonna scare Lauren with this. Excellent. Uh, I like that it's also its ethnicity is quite questionable. <laughs> questionable. It's, diverse. it's kind like of like that. a small elderly man. He's a little shriveled, little tan. Yeah. Now I had described this hand to you. Is it is a it what you Sri thought Lankan it would be? Man. This is definitely a lot better than I expected. <laughs> I was expecting just like a felt hand, like that you oh, have no. in elementary school. Oh no, this, this is, is the real cool. deal. He's got even like cufflinks on him. That's what I mean. That was the upgrade. That that's that's new yeah. upholstery. He looks like he's going to his very young granddaughter's wedding. He was hanging on by a staple before, so <laughs> it was. I I hid the staples under that cup leg. <laughs> I'd like to give you a hand on this one. Oh, thank this you. Was really nice. Let me give you a hand there. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you for bringing that. Yeah, of course. What else do you have in your tickle truck here, Mel? Ah, uh, well, there's other surprises that will be revealed later on. Okay. We should probably move into the next segment, which I like to call wigging out. Uh, you don't always have to be yourself on the Speakeasy podcast. You can speak easily as any character that you wish you want to be. So let's just take a look back here, Mel. Which um, which wig are you thinking you want to put on? We also put on wigs. And pretend we're not ourselves. <laughs> Living our best life in our minds. What are you... I know that this is your house, your rules, oh your way. Oh my god! Wigs. Oh my god! But I thought I'd bring you a, a little treat, maybe spice it up uh, a little oh bit. Oh my god! Yes, I love it. Um, yes, yes. And see, I just wanted to wanted to see what this one. Now it does have a name. Okay. Yes. What's the name? It's written on the bag. Oh. So you create your inventory when you have a lot of wigs. Short puffy front brown. <laughs> Short puffy front brown, a classic. <laughs> and. If you grow your hair out like that, yeah, that's a look. <laughs> that is not short, puffy, front brown. It's exactly what I knew it would be. <laughs> it's better than I thought it would be. <laughs> that is you. not what was described. You look like a whoa, 90s whoa, cartoon whoa. character. <laughs> oh my god, you're going so fast. Slow down. Look at the widow's peak on it. Look at it. <laughs> Hey, David. What's up? What's up? My name's Jared. My name's Jared. Hi, hey, Jared. What's up? I'm Chantel. Yeah, what's up? What's up? Yeah, Chantel, what's up? You look good. Oh, you look good today. Well, thank you. I haven't been out very much, so it's COVID. nice of you to notice. COVID. And you know what? It's a fucking conspiracy, okay? COVID doesn't fucking exist. Am I allowed to smoke really? in here? Can I smoke in here? Yeah. Thanks. You're I was just asking. I don't have any cigarettes, but if you have one, I'll, like, I'll bum one off you. I don't smoke. No? Cool. It makes my hair smell. You, you smell so, you smell really pretty from here. From here, you smell really good. What's your name? What's your name? Chantel. Chantel. Nice to meet you, I'm Jared. Jared. Who's your friend? Sup. Sup. Who are you? Uh, I'm Eunice. Don't know how I got here. But here we are. Eunice, that's very unique. What does that mean? Yeah. Chantel, what the, you are, are you a it's, rapper? It's you, me. Do you rap? I rap. What do you do in your spare time? Church, mostly. Oh my god. Uh, sorry. Shit. Oh, pardon my language. Fuck. I get nervous around pretty girls. Eunice, your name sounds like Bernice. You, you kind of look like my no, sister. it's not, though. It's Eunice. Yeah, Bernice. So, my sister's pretty hot, but, it. like, 
I would never tell her to her face because that's, you know, that's gay. What do you got? Uh, who's your friend? This is Bernard. He's my helper. Is he your boyfriend I, or something? <laughs> no, he's my helper dog. I have very high anxiety. Yeah, well, if you ever get anxious, you can just, uh, I like to shotgun. Uh, sometimes I'll shotgun a beer with a shotgun, holding a shotgun. Sometimes I'll do that. I'll call shotgun. Beer? I'll run to the car. I'll get it. Wait, do you have to open the beer with a shotgun? Yeah, you shoot the can open with a shotgun. Oh, my. Do you know how to handle a, a firearm? No. I can show you. They're, with these breasts, I'm not sure how I would hold a gun. Um, do you hold I, a gun with your breasts? I know that I shouldn't have ran through the hallway topless. I don't even have any kids that go to this school. But you, you can you can start getting an education at any at any age, honestly. And I just wanted to finish my sciences. Yeah. And you know, I, they said go back for your sciences. So I thought I'll start with biology. Yeah. Anatomy. Anatomy class. I have ADHD, so that's why I got sent here. But I have a hard time focusing. But I've been taking a different type of medication. And uh um you know, if you wanted to buy some off of me after, like, I just watch anime, mostly. I don't really watch that kind of stuff. My favorite one is Black Butler. It's sick. It's rad. I'm also working on this uh, graphic novel series. I'm writing, I'm, I'm doing some drawings in my book. Do you, um, mm -hmm. do you guys like graphic novels? I think she probably likes it graphic. I, mean, I, I do like the graphic part of it. I can't say how much for reading. Yeah, I never really learned to read either. Like, I have ADHD, but I'm taking my medicine, and it's helping me, you know, it's helping me kind of focus more, trying to, like, sit still more. Um, and I think it's working. And read. Oh, my God. Are you flirting with me? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I mean, like, you niece. I've never had, like, two girls come on to me at once, you know? This is kind of, like, blowing my mind like, right now. It's kind of, like, oh, my God. Like it's, it's a lot of competition, but, yeah. I mean, I think I think I can handle it. Oh my god, are you guys gonna like fight over me? It's, it's crazy. It's hot. Yeah. Um, but if you're just gonna like bring another, if you're just gonna bring another guy, I mean, like, I think it's a little too soon to be playing the jealousy card, but that's just me. Who is that? I told you it was Bernard. But, but what does he mean to you? He's everything to me. I thought this was a threesome. You're bringing in like some other dude, like, just literally any old dog. Like I know I'll call my sister hot, but I won't fuck a dude. Like that is actually gay. It's with it's with my dick. If you guys want to get your hair really curly and you want it to look like super sort of sick like this, kind of like curly, puffy in the front and brown, then uh you just wrap your hair around my dick and uh it'll make it super curly. How do we get you back? How do we win you back? Just tell us. I'm listening. I'll only trust you if you have peanut butter. I only have almond butter. And I'm allergic. <laughs> I think she's going for the kiss. You you first. You both of us at the same time. You ready? You niece. Yeah, really mixed up. I don't like when the oil is separated. It's, it's separated a bit. All right, let's go in for the kiss. Are you ready? Uh, I love you so much. <laughs> I'm so okay. It's not shooting. Oh. Oh. Bernard used way more tongue than I thought he was going yeah. to. I actually, I was kind of into it. It's not gay after all, but... Um... And scene. And scene. <laughs> I cannot believe how much you transform when you put a wig on. Uh, I cannot believe how much that transformed you into weird gamer dude. <laughs> I just fucking loved it. You just became this like messy. Yeah, uh, like that was great. Thanks. That's even better than I. Thank you. Uh, that wig was really good. That was a good wig. Thank you for bringing it. Of course. Um. Yeah, so you guys, is there any other, do you have any que any other questions for me before I, we- I mean, should we have been interrogating you is, is the real question. I mean, I'm an open book. 
you know, empty pages, still writing the story, uh -huh. metaphors. <laughs> Well, yeah. What, what do you? You, think? you asked us what we were planning next for the Dirty Show. Mm -hmm. uh, so what is next for? Uh, what is next for Tara? Thanks for asking that. Um, so I run a monthly comedy show out of my living room, actually in this like little space right here, um, and it's called the Speakeasy Comedy Show, and it's the last Thursday of every month, and I stream it live on Instagram at eight p.m. So every last Thursday of the month. Uh, I also have started to do this weekly podcast every Thursday around eight o'clock, same time. Just so happens that we're live today uh, streaming, which is pretty cool. So I actually do want to be able to pay you guys for your time eventually moving down the road. And the way that I'm doing that is I'm crowdsourcing uh, using GoFundMe. So if uh, for whoever's watching, whoever will be watching this, uh, if you think that I should be paying these lovely ladies for their time to talk about comedy and to, you know, help, uh, uh, what is it called when you're helping out with the expenses of putting on shows, editing, etc., equipment, all that stuff that comes with it, just uh, donate to the GoFundMe. It's called Pay the Comedians, and I'll put the, a little link for it down in the ticker and then also in the, the description for this video and on my Instagram and YouTube bio. You'll see it there as well. And yeah, any amount works, definitely. That's really nice. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, so yeah, anyways, you guys, that's the show. Um, I want to thank you so much for joining us, Kayla. Thanks for coming in over uh, over the live stream here. Melody, thank you yeah. so much for being here in person. Yeah. And uh, peace out. We'll uh, we'll see you next time on the next time. You're going to get demonetized for this fucking intro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>